What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out 2023 Hip Rate Football Autograph Limited Edition Series 16 with this dual case break, random teams number one. And again, guys, 20 total boxes. Again, 10 box cases here. Um, again, there could be chances of some of these hits still remaining. Obviously, you usually put one or two in every case. Uh, but of course, I don't know how many we've done and how many cases already have been ripped open around the United States and world. But hopefully, we do get some nice ones. But as you can see, there's some really, really nice ones there. And hopefully, like I said, we get some good ones. So again, guys, here's the dice roller. Here's the customer name. Scott down to Eric Biden straight up. And then from Prominence 15, Nestor down to Nestor got in there with the team's roll. Six and a five, 11 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Brock down to Kev. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Panthers out of the Jets. All righty, guys. So eleven, eleven. Brock with the Panthers, Miguel with the Rams, Scott with the Browns, Robert with the Titans, Joseph with the Broncos, Nestor with the Raiders, Tana with the Bengals, Karen with the Lions, Mark with the Bucks, Brock with the Falcons, Chris with the Cowboys, Joseph with the Chiefs, Commanders, William with the Vikings, Nestor with the Giants, Carl with the 49ers, William with the Ravens, Eric with the Bears, Pat Ritt with the Saints, Carl with the Texans, Nestor with the Steelers, William with the Chargers and Bills, Nestor with the Patriots, uh, Denise with the Seahawks, Craig with the Dolphins, Eric Jaguars, Craig with the Packers, Nestor with the Cardinals, John Paul with the Eagles, Scott with the Colts, and then Kev with the New York Jets. Now, if anybody wants to make any trades, I'll give you guys a quick minute. If not, we're going to close it, print, and rip. Alright guys, I'm assuming no trades then. Uh, what's up Oliver? It was amazing man. I wish I was there for another week. Alright then guys, this is Print and rip. Print and rip. Print and rip. And now I need like another week off just to recuperate, you know? Recover.
No, man. I got there the day after Backlash. I got there Sunday morning, like, at 8 a.m. But I was told Bad Bunny was there while I was there, so that was cool. And I was told Bad Bunny has, like, four houses all around Puerto Rico. And one of his houses is, like, a fortress. No. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure, uh, my sister obviously keeps up with all the gossip shit, but my sister said he was there with, the like, Kendall and stuff, so I'm pretty sure they were all doing their own rich stuff. <laughs> Alright, you guys, here we go. So, limited 16. Yeah, it was great, man. It was awesome. Love the food, love the people, love the areas. Definitely will be going back for sure. But now I just want to experience other Caribbean islands, Caribbean uh, countries, so. Go to a different one another time. Alrighty, guys. So. Here we go. Yeah, my sister, well, my sister went twice. I was supposed to go with her last year to Jamaica, but then she went again earlier this year. Ooh. That Josh Allen? Right off the bat, is that a sell sheet hit? Yeah, it is. Sell sheet. Patch autograph, Josh Allen. 40 out of 49. That's for the Bills, William. Actually, you know what was funny, guys? I don't know if you guys heard about it, but I heard about it on our flight. I guess recently, like within this past like three, four days, Frontier Airlines had a flight going to Florida. I don't know where it came from, the origin of it. But did you guys hear about this on the news? <laughs> it was so funny. It was trending on Twitter too. But a floor, a flight going to Florida was supposed to land in Florida, but they they the, they went to Jamaica. <laughs> so imagine the flight attendant going and saying, "Hello, everybody, welcome to Jamaica," and you were supposed to be going to Florida. That's just so funny to me. And I guess it was a big old debacle or hassle because none of them had their passports because they weren't supposed to be flying out of the country. Supposed to be flying to Florida. All right, and then we got a Joey Bosa. There we go. Two out of 25. Two-color patch and autograph from Flawless. So that's Flawless Collegiate, but of course, Joey Bosa still with the Chargers. Chargers going to Williams. Well, I don't even know how that even happens. Like, was the, was, was the pilot given the wrong coordinates or what? But I just thought that was hilarious. It's like you're supposed to be flying to Florida, but then your pilot's telling you, "Welcome you, to, welcome to Jamaica." <laughs> oh man, that'd be like a perfect like, "Hey, I'm you know calling the Jaspersons like, hey Nick, the craziest shit just happened. We're supposed to be flying home if we were in Florida, you know, but our flight took us to Jamaica. <laughs> so funny." Alright, we got Ramondre Stevenson, rookie photo shoot. Patch autograph. They're not numbered though. Patriots going to Nestor. Yeah, that's some Frontier Airlines stuff, right? Oh, that was really funny though. We did see like Frontier Airlines is now offering direct flights to Puerto Rico for like 69 bucks. I'm like, yeah, but am I actually going to get to Puerto Rico or am I going to go to a different country? It's like for $69, we'll fly you somewhere. You won't know though until you get there. I took JetBlue for the first time. I've never flown JetBlue before. It wasn't bad. All right, Jamar Gibbs. Nice. They already have some prospects that are now in the NFL. So I believe Gibbs got drafted by the Lions, correct? Then they traded Swift to my Eagles. And yes, 
Detroit Lions. So Lions is Karen. Yeah, it was cool. I mean, it was. It, it already had came with the flying or with the with the hotel package and stuff, and it was the first time flying JetBlue. It was it wasn't terrible. It was, it was okay. But they do have a crazy pass I seen. It was like for a whole year, fly anywhere or fly whatever for like four hundred bucks or something, which I thought was kind of cool. But uh, oh, there you go. Yeah, Carl's intrigued by their all you can fly for four night. Yeah, I thought that was kind of interesting, especially if you're a person that flies for work or just flies all the time. We have uh, Howie. Howie Long, fifteen out of forty nine. Love that jersey right there. The little neck brace. Raiders. It's going to Nestor. Yeah, the only airlines I had ever flown before was like, you know, Southwest. I take Southwest all the time out of Long Beach to go to Arizona. But Southwest, American, Alaskan. Um, I've done Air Canada once. But yeah, it was cool. It wasn't bad. Never done Spirit, although I hear a lot of bad things, but I think it's just it's just kind of a little joke by now, right? Does anybody does anybody fly Spirit and there's nothing wrong? 51 out of 75, George Pickens. I feel like it's just become like a, a, a meme now, so anytime you hear a Spirit Airlines, you think of it like horrible. <clears throat> but my cousin takes it all the time, but he like travels to like, you know, states all around California and he like usually goes with like a backpack so he never has to worry about all the other hidden fees and stuff. But uh, never again. Okay, so tell me what happened, Oliver. What, what happened with you in spirit that you said never again? <laughs> it's real bad things. So like, what? What, what happens? Are the hidden fees? Just airplane? Just, just not good? <laughs> I just don't understand how they're starting airline then. Tyreek Hill. I just feel like it gets so much like backlash, but yet they're still around and people still fly on them. Lost baggage and dumb charges? Oh, yeah. I think it's so funny because, you know, they make memes of that, too. They'll be like, you'd be looking at flights and seeing how expensive, like, you know, let's say Southwest or something like that is. And then you look at Spear and it's like five, $500 cheaper. You're like, ah, do I really want to go through that hassle, though? <laughs> Plastic seats? Oh, my God. That's, that's crazy. All right, so that was Dolphins Craig. And I bought a little AJ Brown sensational signatures for my angles. That's at a 125. Um, Eagles is junk. Literally no room. Okay. Well, I've always just seen the memes. And just always was told never fly their airline. So I think I'm going to stick to that. I don't care how, ch how much cheaper it is. We have a Kenneth Walker to 199. Seahawks, Denise. Southwest, that's right. I've always loved Southwest, man. I mean, it's quick. Especially when you're like flying like just around different states here. I. I don't think I've ever taken Southwest farther than like Chicago, if anything, but um, two free check bags. It's kind of like a little rush, you know, when you like you, you don't get assigned seats, so you have to like really either pay up now, you can pay like the extra X amount of fee so you can be in, in class A or whatever, but if not, you know, you just got to be right on time to check in 24 hours ahead of time, so you're like an A, B, C, or D. <laughs> so that way you, you get a chance to get a good seat. I always like my I always tell my wife it's like a little bit of a rush. It's fun. T Higgins out of twenty five. And there you go, guys. That was the first case. I have flown Delta actually. Delta was nice. So I think the big hit, of course, was the Josh Allen in this case. Nice. Da -da -da -da. Well, NFL schedules dropped yesterday, guys. Shockingly, my Eagles are only playing three 1 o'clock games, meaning that 
I only have to worry about waking up early at 10 a.m. to watch the Eagles play three times this year. Which I kind of like. Or rather than play at 130. 1, 1, uh, 425 here, like, you know. <coughs> Eagles come to L.A. this year. Play the Rams on October, what, 8th. That's going to be fun. Definitely go to that game. And I'll probably go to one game in Philly, probably. Really? Damn. I wouldn't want to do that. I'd, I'd rather do like the whole check-in process rather than run up to the tarmac. <laughs> That's wild. Yes, Adam. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was just shocking because last year the Eagles played a lot of 10 o'clock games, which is like 1, one o'clock over there for you guys. But Ooh. Is this a sell sheet hit? I think it is, right? RPA of uh, Trevor Lawrence, 66 out of 99. Or no, 68 out of 99. And yeah, there you go, Trevor Lawrence. Yeah, the Eagles have... Eagles, at least statistically, if you look at the, the, the records from last year, the wins and losses, Eagles have the hardest record in the NFL this year. So... There shouldn't be no excuses from last year saying, oh, they had the easiest record, blah, blah, blah. But remember, you're basing it off of last year. Some teams that were really good last year probably got worse this year. Some teams that were bad last year obviously have gotten so much better this year. So I don't really like to pay into the whole wins and losses, like hardest record in the NFL or hardest schedule. Mike uh, Evans, 10 of 10. Studio signatures. Yeah, I think the Eagles start off in New England, week one, honoring Tom Brady with his uh, what Jersey retirement night. So that should be kind of fun. And then short week again, two years in a row. Week two, playing against the Vikings, playing uh, Thursday night football. But the Eagles do have one really tough stretch. At some point at the end of November, December, they have like the Cowboys like twice, literally. They have the Bills, the Chiefs. Um, you know, they, they play like a brutal schedule towards the end of November, December. All right, we have a nice two-color patch and autograph. Tyler Lockett, Great Iron Kings, number to 49. Seahawks. Uh, it's going to Denise. <clears throat> wow, really? So you guys are starting off the season at, uh, at home, really. I think for the Eagles, it's a little bit of the opposite. I think the Eagles don't have too many home games early on. Yeah, so the Eagles start off in New England, then go back home to Minnesota, then play in Tampa Bay, Washington, L.A., New York, and then a home game against the Dolphins. Or, sorry, actually, Washington's a home game. So they start off the season with one... Start off the first, let's say, first six weeks, four away games, two home games. But that brutal schedule is going to start, like, November. So November 5th, the Eagles play against the Cowboys... Then they play the Chiefs. Then they play Buffalo. Then they play the 49ers. Then they play the Cowboys again. And then end off in Seattle. That's a pretty hard schedule there. But hey, I mean, the Eagles are built for that though. So it should be fun. Jalen Waddle. And then Cowboys is in, in Philly. Then at Kansas City. In Philly against the Bills. In Philly against the 49ers. And then at Dallas at Seattle. Yeah, so yeah, the game the Eagles play in two guys, right? It's October 15th, so it's the week after the week after the, the Rams game. We have a piece of the game, Packers, Christian Watson to 99. Alright, 
then we got a Jordan Addison, of course. He was drafted by the Vikings. It's a four ninety nine Minnesota Vikings William. Desmond Ritter, Phoenix Football RPA to 149. Falcons, Brock. Little Mac Daddy Jones, good as gold. Patch auto there. To 49. Patriots. What a Nestor. Alright, guys, the Knicks tied up and forced the game seven tonight. I seen Quentin Grimes and uh, Jalen Brunson both play 48 minutes in game five. Played the whole game. Nice Chris Olave, a little jumbo three color patch and autograph to 49. Uh, Saints going to pet rip. And nice Devontae Smith. Raider rookie green auto, or blue auto, sorry, to 99. Fly goes fly. Go to John Paul. So there you go, folks. Our, both of our big chasers were both quarterbacks. Josh Allen on the first one, and then, of course, on this side was the uh, Trevor Lawrence. It's actually the first box on each side. This one right there. So appreciate it, folks. Again, uh, don't have another one of the same series, so we do have more. It'll be a different series. Appreciate it, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.